Uh, with thanks to Nutrien, Equine, Standard Breads, and they've got a heap of sales coming up very, very shortly. I might be covering the Inter-Dominion, doing it a little bit differently like I do. First person I've seen, um, and I wasn't even here at Redcliffe, <laughs> Dale March joins me. Firstly, Dale, thank you for uh, agreeing to come on and uh, and welcome. Yeah, no worries. Uh, thank you. And uh, Yeah, it was... Uh, Funny to see somebody walk in that that I knew a face, but I didn't, you know, hadn't met you. We were at Aratura, which uh, a lot of people can go and do Google. It's in the middle of nowhere. But I, I'd been to Warwick that morning, and um, I was interested to find out that that's where you're actually based, um, your stable complex is based. How far is Warwick, say, from where we are, Redcliffe and Albion Park? Yeah, well, we're um, two and a half hours on a good traffic day to Redcliffe, um, two hours to Redcliffe. Um, and Marburg, the other track, is an hour and three quarters. Yeah, two hours Albion Park. Yep, yeah, two yeah. hours Albion Park. Yeah, um, that's a big commitment. Yeah, yeah, we, we've got no choice, so we, you know, we, we, we have to travel, and that's how it is, yeah. How many are you train? Uh, we've got ten in work. Dad's, yeah. Dad's the trainer, he's got ten in work at the minute, yep. What's Dad's ra- uh, name? Richard. Richard March. Yep. Yep, um, and he's been in the game all his long life. You said to me there before we started this, got to blame grandfather? Yeah, got to blame the grandfather, yep. Um, yeah, Dad uh, married his daughter and, and back in the 70s they had a good horse called Stormy Water. And um, Yeah, so it's just been in my blood and we just that's all we've done, yep. Where do you train at Warwick? Like, do you have your own complex or is it showgrounds or something like that? Yeah, no, we've got our own own track. It's actually, uh, the track's actually where Stormy Water was trained. So I bought half the grandfather's farm. So yep. um, we just got 120 acres up there and run a few cattle and train a couple of horses. You enjoy it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I sort of probably don't know anything else, really. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, sometimes you wish you didn't have to travel so much. But, yeah, it's, um, it's good. What is, what is it about the industry that appeals to you so much? Oh, well, I think, you know, it's a good industry in the sense that, you know, we, we do get along. Like, it's a, it, it, there's not very many people that you sort of, you know, you don't want to associate with, and, and it's, a, it's a good industry, yeah. It, it is, and I think you're right. We sell it too short sometimes. I think we get caught living it. And uh, it gets to be a grind for some people, and we've got to celebrate actually what it is. Yeah, and it, it, you just got to got to think that some people that's all we do is is this job, and and it's not a bad not a bad way to turn up for work and and not have to answer to a boss. You can answer to yourself and just present your horse as well, and and do your best out, out on the track. That's all you can do, and enjoy it, and make money but um you know it's a lot of it gets centered around the punt it's not always about the punt it's sometimes about the journey with the horse i think sometimes we look at the dollars we'd lose hand over fist with some of the horses we invest so much money and time into but the satisfaction you get when they win a race or run a place um it's pretty huge isn't it yeah definitely um you know we've had a couple handy horses over the years we've never had that real good one but um you know it's satisfying to you know to either breed one or you go to the sales and buy one and 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 then that horse turns out to be really good and and it's it's quite satisfying to, to be able to do that really what's the best at the minute you got 10 in work what's the best in the minute uh our major day is our best horse at the minute he's um 129 races or something like that and a bit over a couple hundred thousand so he's been a really good horse to us and he gets you out of bed easy yeah he does yeah you know he's he's a bit of a uh, he's a bit of hard pulling bugger and he's a bit of a pain in, pain in the bum but um but he's a he's a nice horse he, he tries but you know he he's he's not the best horse going around and or anything like that but he's so consistent and and the, and the owners we've got in him they just have a lot of fun just watching him go around well done. Huge commitment. Two and a half hours. I hope the, the industry's aware of it. Um, I would imagine you've got some of the locals in Warwick that would otherwise wouldn't know too much about harness racing. So I think well done to you guys. Thanks for catching up. Thanks for having the chat too. I think that's one of the things we sell short, like in the middle of nowhere, and you and I are able to have a sh- little chat uh, there. And thanks for, for joining me here as well. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. And I must say a huge thank you as well to the guy for, team from Nutrient Equal. And don't forget the Brisbane sale is on February 11 at the complex. So make sure you um, you get there and be a part of it. Get in touch with Mark Barton and Gemma uh, Smallman. Um, they'll look after all your de- details. Dale. Race is over. Good luck, mate. Hopefully you can get a winner. And yeah. I, I might have gone too early. If you get a winner, I'm sorry I don't do the winning interview, but thanks for joining me. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Thanks, mate.